All right, so hold on, it just froze on me. Here we go. This says the population of weights for men attending a local health club is normally distributed with a mean of 165 and a standard deviation of, one, of 29. An elevator in the health club is limited to 32 occupants, but it will be overloaded if the total weight exceeds 5,824 pounds. Assume that there are 32 men in the elevator. What's the average weight beyond that which the elevator could be considered overloaded? If it can support 32 people and this much weight, that means each person has to be take the total weight divided by the number of people, and you should get 182. So this should be 182 pounds. Okay. So now this says, what is the probability that one randomly selected male health club member will exceed this weight? So what's the probability that a randomly selected man will have a weight greater than 182? Well, I'm going to use the normal distribution. So that's going to be second distribution, normal CDF. The lower bound is going to be 182. Upper bound is going to be some big, big number because we're talking about greater than 182. The mean will be 165. And the standard deviation is 29. So the chance that a randomly selected person will be heavier than that is 0.2789. Okay. So if we assume that 32 male occupants in the elevator are the result of a random selection, find the probability the elevator will be overloaded. So we want to know if there's 32 people, what's the chances that it'll be overloaded? This is the probability that uh, one person will exceed. So now we're talking about a sample of 32 averaging something larger than this, right? So this is going to be the same thing, but remember our sigma is going to change. Our sigma is going to be the sigma, the sigma of the population, 29, divided by the square root of the sample size. So do the same thing we just did here, but we're going to use this sigma instead. Okay, and then it says, if the elevator is full on average three times a day, how many times will the elevator be overloaded in one year? So if it's full, you would just take this probability, whatever we get here, multiply it by three, multiply it by 365, and you'll get a number of times it's overloaded. Then really just use some reasoning to determine if that's a big number or a small number. Basically, if you knew this information, would you get into the elevator? If you would get into the elevator, then uh, it's, it is adequate. If, it's, if you would not get in the elevator, it's not adequate.